So here we have the Hyundai i10 on a 14 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car. We're going to start off inside the boot area of it, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, uh, given the size of this particular vehicle, a decent amount of boot space, which can be increased further if you wish to by folding down either or both of the 60-40 split folding rear seats. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges over on the right-hand side. Uh, also in the middle, you can see the total miles of this car. They are 66,074. Above that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, uh, so of course we are in park at the moment. You can also change information that's displayed in that section using the buttons on the steering wheel just here. Into the centre, we have the stereo. So FM, AM radio, as you can see. Media will give you the choice between your CD player, auxiliary and USB inputs as well with the main volume for the stereo just there. Air conditioning below that so you can adjust the temperature, fan speed and direction of the air. The air conditioning is on at the minute so you can turn it off. Back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you set here. And then underneath that we have a 12 volt charging socket, your auxiliary and USB inputs and the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.